If you want to write an automated visual test for a page that has dynamic content such as this, your test is going to trip up. And in this example, the last row of this page has dynamic content, so there'd be a new image and new text appearing on each page load. So if we write a test for this and run it in Apple Tools eyes, it would fail. Case in point, we can see when we compare this test run to the baseline image that there's different there's a different image and different text appearing on the page. So there's two different approaches we can take to resolve this issue. And the first one is to create what's called an ignore region. By using this portion of the menu here, there's this option for adding a region that will ignore the content within it. So if we go ahead, accept this as the new baseline image and save it, and then run our test again, we'll see that it passes. And in this case here, I'm using an Ruby RSpec example to connect to Apple Tools Eyes with a Firefox instance. And then on the page we're visiting, we just capture a check window. So if we go ahead and run this, we see that it passes here, and then we can refresh and see that our test passed over here. And if we view it, we can see even though the text was different, in this case it looks like the image was the same, but the text was different and the test did not fail. Now there's one other option which is actually easier in order to handle dynamic content, and that's to use a different match level. So what we can do is actually come in and delete these ignore regions, and then go ahead, accept, save, and in our test we'll actually modify our setup here so that we're going to set a match level. So it would be eyes.matchLevel, and then we specify the match level as a string, and the match level that we want is called layout2. And layout2 will enable us to just verify the layout of the page regardless of the actual content. So if we save this and then run it again, our test passes here, and then the results we can view show that in this case, there was different image and different text, but the test did not fail, and we did it without specifying an ignore region.